Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. How pretty is this stack of boxes? Now, I, when I film stacks for you, I never finish them off. I always leave the third or the fifth or the fourth or the second. I always leave one to do and then I complete the stack with you and have a confession to make. I built this at the beginning of March. And we're now at the end of March. And uh, yeah, um, I don't know why I finished it off. I genuinely can't remember why I finished it because I would never do that with a stack. So I thought, I'm not going to build three. I'm not going to do another one because I'm running out of this paper and it's retiring soon. That's a note for you. So what I thought was, let's see what will happen if I take it one smaller. Now, I have all my measurements here on my notepad for me to read but I'm not going to read them all out they will be all on my blog click open the description bar below and you will see a hyperlink there that will take you to my blog post with all of these in imperial and metric and you can even watch this video above so I've got all of this and I'm looking at this going why have I finished this project why have I finished this stack okay well let's see what we can do we can take it smaller now this box at the bottom we can't make one bigger than that in this style because this uses 12 by 12 paper this uses 12 by 10 and this uses 12 by 8 so I thought let's see if I could make one with 12 by 6 so I'm going to do that here no idea what's going to happen I've worked out the measurements haven't tested it I know we can't go one smaller than that because according to my formula so this one here they all finish up at two inches tall, five centimetres, and they're all three inches that way, which is seven and a half centimetres, but this bit differs. So this one is eight inches, this one is six, and that's four inches. Again, in metric, that is, um, I've written them down, 25 centimetres, 20 centimetres, and 15. So I know I can only go one smaller, I just don't know what it's going to look like, because in theory, this one is going to finish up at two inches tall, three inches that way, but it should finish at two inches, which obviously means I can't go any smaller, so five centimetres, but let's have a bash. But at least I can show you the, the method of it. So with the boxes, they all you all start with a 12 inch width, 30 centimetres, and then you change your that amount of paper. So therefore, on the long side of every of all of these boxes your measurements are exactly the same on each box so this is your long side your 12 inch 30 centimeter side and we're going to score it at two five seven and ten which in metric five twelve and a half seventeen and twenty five okay so all of your long ones and it's on the short side we're going to do something different so on the short side i'm going to score it at two inches and four inches which is five and ten centimeters and i'm really hoping this is going to work <laughs> because i genuinely don't know i thought it would be fun to fly by the seat of my pants today because like i say when i do boxes like this oh do stacks rather i always leave one to finish off today i'm apparently not so i also thought today would be a fun day to make a change because it's my eighth stamping up anniversary today eight years i've been with stamping up <gasps> eight years today it was easter weekend when i joined that year if i remember rightly it was uh, the Saturday between Good Friday and Easter Sunday and Monday. Okay, right. Is this going to work? It is. Yay, that's good. So yes, it's my eighth Stampin' Up! anniversary. Eight years. Best decision I ever made. Okay, so actually I should hover it like this. So all of them, you're going to lay them all out the same way. You've got six square boxes and you've got four rectangles there. We're going to cut into all of the six ones, cut straight down the rectangle, wedge into the square. Ew, I've got gummy scissors there. So, yes, this paper's, this paper's retiring. Oh, oh, it's 
retiring. That's no good. We've the retiring list is live. Uh, so if you go into again, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can go into the description bar and you can head straight to my online store there. Or if you're watching this on my blog, there'll be a button on the right hand side. So yeah, the retiring list um, is oh actually no, this is this is retiring, yeah, because this will this is a January to June mini product. And yeah, it will retire, it won't carry over. So yeah, you've got until the end of June, but there will become a point where it will be while supplies last. While supplies last, while stocks last. You know what I mean. Okay, so super simple. If I turn it over that way, you should be able to see the gaps between. Isn't it lovely though? All three of these have got a different colour to it. So this crumb cake one has got sort of a, like an old antique gold. The Rococo Rose has got a, a pink in the metallic and then the um, Petal Pink. I couldn't think what it was called. I was trying to call it Perfect Pink. It is. Petal Pink has got a more sort of orangey tone, rose gold to it. Lovely. Right, so we're going to put glue in all of those six bits that we've wedged into. I'm going to grab my tear and tape because it's here and it's handy. backing off all of these. I would get the backing off, it doesn't want to come off. Oh, look at that, and I'm taking the tape off. So a couple of weeks ago in a video, I asked if anybody would be interested in a Q&A and quite a lot of you said yes please that you'd like that so i am going to be opening up on my blog i'm just gonna pause that sentence and show you what i've done i've glued that to the inside and i'm going to glue that one inside there too so yes on my blog i'm going to open up a section of where you can submit your questions and then i will get them answered for you it's oh, exciting and quite nerve-wracking too right so that okay so this one is closing differently to these ones okay so let me see oh no i've glued them down let me undo my knots oh that's very brave of me because these ones actually open that way and this one is going to open that way just because of the size of it but it worked no what have i done wrong oh no it goes that oh no it does open the right way <laughs> oh sam you silly girl <laughs> it does open the same way so they all open that way <laughs> oh dear <laughs> they all open the same way <laughs> Because that's going to sit on there like that. That's quite fun, isn't it? Probably need to, there we go, that's on properly. That's good though. I quite like that. I'm a bit of a, a purist and I have to do stuff in odd numbers of, you know, one, three, five, seven, etc, etc. You don't need me to tell you what an odd number is. But actually I quite like that. But no, we wouldn't be able to take it any smaller because... Um, it just wouldn't work. But actually, you could probably, you could, you could have more of them. So, um, like I said, this uses 12 by 12 paper, that uses 12 by 10 paper, but you could do that as 12 by 11 inches. So you could don't go down on one inch increment. So, uh, sorry, 12 by 12, 12 by 10, 12 by 8. And you could go down in one inch increments so you could have loads of them but i don't think you'd get such an obvious step it would be more more of a pyramid than a step that could work if anybody wants to make that and share it with me and again in metric so the bottom one starts at 30 by 30 and then it goes down um 30 by 25 so it's a five centimeter difference between the two but you could do it as two and a half 
so you could have more boxes um, so that would be one very tall stack seriously if anybody wants to make that and share a photo with me let me know I'm busy making other projects now for you all. <laughs> I'm looking at all the stuff on my left that I'm going to be sharing with you throughout April. I'm excited. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me on this rambly journey. And do you know what? Probably as I press stop on the video, I will remember why I completed the stack, but still had it in my pile of stuff to film. I don't know. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.